Hi everybody and welcome to Gear for Music. My name's Damon Chivers and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Gretsch Professional series of guitars. We're going to take a look at some of the models in this range and also hear some of the amazing sounds that these guitars can produce. So let's get started. So what does professional series mean when we talk about Gretsch guitars? Uh, well, these are the high-end professional level instruments that are built in our factory in Japan. So the series is split into guitars that are period correct. For instance, we've looked at some 59s. We looked at the uh, 57 style Duojet. These are guitars that were actual guitars that were in the Gretsch range in those years. So that's a big part of what the Pro Series is. So if you're a professional guitar player and you're hankering after real genuine iconic vintage Gretsch tones, those guitars will do that. Then we also do guitars like the Players Edition and the Center Block guitars, which take all of that aesthetic and tonal DNA from the Gretsch range and history and add things to it to make them uh, stay in tune better, make them more stable, not, not let them feed back. So the center block guitars do that. The guitar doesn't vibrate so much, so they stay in tune. We add TV Jones hand-wired pickups to them. Some of them have nitrocellulose finishes. So the whole range are based on classic and iconic Gretsch guitars, but it's just up to you what kind of player you are, whether you're a vintage nut or whether you want something that's a bit more up to date, something you can use in higher gain settings. Uh, they're all there, but all of the guitars you would expect, Chet Atkins hollow bodies, Chet Atkins solid bodies, the duo jet, double cut duo jets, all the mighty magnificent falcons, you will find all of those in the Pro Series. So if you are a professional guitarist and you're looking for that iconic Gretsch look and sound, then the Pro Series is exactly where you need to look. Okay, so now we are going to look at the Gretsch Professional Series Players Edition Lacquer Finished White Falcon. Now, I think you'll agree the Gretsch White Falcon is one of the most astonishing looking guitars you're ever going to see. And don't forget, the thing about Gretsch is not only do they all look completely unique and amazing, they sound unique as well. Nothing sounds like a Gretsch whatsoever. So this is the player's edition guitar. Now what this means is we've taken a vintage style guitar. So with the white falcon, it's the biggest body that we do, uh, fairly deep, um, but we've done things to it to bring it a little bit more up to date, make it a little bit more useful uh, and usable for live work and that kind of stuff. So a little bit more stable, they stay in tune a little better, that kind of stuff. So what we've done is we have two high sensitive Filtertron humbuckers. So we got a lovely robust low end, loads of harmonics, everything you would expect uh, from a Gretsch or that clarity. Um, we've made the playing surface a 12 inch radius fretboard. It's an ebony fretboard with the uh, thumbnail markers. And don't forget, you've also got your amazing binding. So it makes the guitar play and feel a little bit more comfortable than a vintage guitar. 22 medium jumbo frets, uh, which is uh, very cool. Also, we have locking machine heads as well. One of the things that people have complained about about vintage Gretches is tuning stability. So we've given it these uh, fantastic new locking uh, Grover Imperial style tuners. And down at this end as well, we have the old uh, rocking bar bridge, but this is pinned to the body. Um, whereas again, on vintage guitars, it wouldn't be, so it can move around. So with the uh, locking tuners and the pin bridge, we get the maximum tuning stability that we can from a guitar like this. Also, we have the through string Bigsbury as well. So you get all that lovely twang and wobble that you want, um, but it's much easier to restring. Uh, which is also very, very cool. We have the new ML bracing, which you can't see, obviously, because it's inside the guitar. Um, but with this bracing, it means that you can play the guitar at high volume, you can use overdrive with it, etc., and the guitar will still be really resonant, it will be allowed to move, etc., um, but it won't feed back, uh, which is what we want. Um, as I say, locking tuners, and we have also have all the accoutrements that you would expect. Uh, I mean, just look at these uh, gold jeweled G arrow knobs. Um, so one of the things about this guitar is, obviously, it looks absolutely incredible. It's about as much bling as you can get on one guitar. But what you mustn't forget is that, like all the Gretches, the Pro Series stuff, they sound absolutely incredible. So if you're the kind of player that requires any kind of clean sound, whether you play jazz, country, funk, blues, or just whatever style of music you play, and at any point you need one of the best clean sounds that you're ever going to hear, uh, then a guitar like this will absolutely do it for you. So I guess the best thing we can do is plug it in to my deluxe reverb, have a play and see how it sounds. <laughs>
next guitar that I'm going to look at is the amazing George Harrison signature duo jet. The original duo jets uh, were from the 50s. Uh, there can't be many more iconic guitar players than George Harrison of the Beatles. Probably influenced more people uh, to pick up guitar than anybody else, I, I would imagine. Um, it's modelled on the, his guitar that he referred to as his first real decent guitar, which was a 1957 Gretsch Duo Jet, which he purchased uh, secondhand in the early 1960s. So essentially, uh, based around a, a 57 guitar, so a lightweight, mid 50s style chambered body. So if you play certain other single cut guitars and you find them to be a little bit cumbersome, a little bit heavy, Yep, the uh, 50s duo jets are chambered, so they're nice and light. Of course, we have the requisite Bigsby B3C tailpiece for all of that wobble. We've got the beautiful white and black binding all around the body. Down the playing end, probably my favourite Gretsch headstock, the small headstock. 12-inch radius fretboard, rosewood fretboard with 22 frets. Really lovely to play. Now, down this end, where the sound happens, we have two Dynasonic single coil pickups. So um, when you look at Gretsch guitars, most of the guitars either have Filtertron, humbuckers, or the Dynasonic single coils. These were the earliest, uh, the earlier pickups that Gretsch made. Um, compared to the humbuckers that they used, these are very pokey, uh, gnarly, kind of mid-range heavy pickups. Great for anything rock and roll, obviously, or any heavier styles as well. And we also have the vintage rocking bar style bridge. So, George Harrison from the Beatles, one of the most iconic and influential guitar players of all time. Uh, and this is his sig signature Gretsch professional series duo jet with the Dynasonics. So, I guess what we better do now is plug it into our deluxe reverb here, give it a whirl and see how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the next guitar that we're going to look at is one from the brand new Vintage Select series. The idea with these guitars is we take classic, iconic Gretsch guitars from a certain year and redo them. And this is exactly what we have here. So this is a 1959 Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. Okay, pretty different from uh, some of the other Chet Atkins guitars. Uh, full depth body. Uh, this one actually has painted on F holes with laminated, five layer laminated maple top, um, which when you get in close, you'll see it looks absolutely amazing. And because it's painted on F holes, again, gives it a little bit more resistance to feedback as well. Uh, we have also uh, two of the different pickups that Gretsch used, one of the reasons we did this guitar. Uh, and again, these are made by TV Jones, uh, who hand builds the pickups, and these are a Supertron. Uh, Classic Plus in the bridge and a Supertron neck pickup. Again, so different from what you find on the other Pro Series guitars. We have my favorite Bigsby arm, the uh, wire vibrato arm, as it's known. A pinned rocking bar bridge as well, just to keep it all kind of con in control. Uh, and Butterbean tuners. So this is the 1959 Vintage Select Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. Really cool guitar, really unique. Uh, brand new in the Vintage Select series for 2017. So what we're going to do now is plug it in and have a little listen to how it sounds. <laughs> next guitar we're going to look at is this incredible 1959 6120 Chet Atkins hollow body. Uh, possibly the most iconic Gretsch guitar in Gretsch orange, but a limited run with an incredible quilt maple top. I hope you can see it here because it's one of the nicest tops I've seen on a guitar for a long time. Okay, so based on a 59, uh, in the classic, classic color. The other thing to uh, bear in mind is that it's nitrocellulose finished as well, so it will age beautifully, really thin, the finish, so it lets uh, the guitar breathe, makes it really, really resonant. So down the business end here, we have our Bigsby vibrato, as you would expect, and the guitar is powered by a pair of the fabulous handmade TV Jones classic Filtertron pickups, which will give you all of that 
jangle, all the twang and bite you'd expect from a vintage style Gretsch guitar. Uh, we also have the three-way switching here. So we have bridge pickup, middle and neck. And then this one here is a three-way roll off. So it just takes the top end off when it's put down, shaves a little bit off the top, flick it up. It takes quite a lot off, which you'll hear later when we give it a play. So we have a vintage V profile neck with the walnut stripe down the back. Again, period correct. Everything you'd expect. Uh, from a Gretsch. Also a beautiful uh, ebony fingerboard with the thumbnail inlays there as well. So really what we're getting with this guitar is a guitar that l feels, plays and sounds like a vintage guitar but with the amazing upgrade of this incredible maple top. It really is. I mean under the studio lights here it looks amazing. Uh, and nitro finish and the TV Jones pickup. So it sounds as good as it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it in now uh, and we'll give it a little play and you can see how it sounds. <laughs> So the next guitar I am going to look at is this very cute, uh, very cool centre block junior with Bigsby. So the idea behind the centre block guitars was to create a range of guitars that were slightly more rigid, um, don't vibrate quite as much so you can use them at loud volume on stage uh, and with overdriven amps, that kind of thing. So they all have a centre block down the middle, um, which the pickups etc are mounted on. So we don't get any feedback, which is really, really cool. So we have an arch laminated maple top. We have a pair of high sensitive Filtertron humbuckers, everything you would expect from Gretsch, uh, all the uh, top end, all the clarity, all the definition, but without any of the nasty hum, it takes all that away. Chamber mahogany body with a spruce center block, as we said. Uh, this is copper metallic finish as well uh, with the copper metallic uh, Gretsch pit guard, which is super cool. We have our proper Bigsby as well, but we do have uh, a kind of more modern uh, adjustomatic bridge like you would find on other modern guitars. So you have a little bit more control over the tuning as well. We also have Grover Stay Tight tuners here. So you can give your Bigsby a little bit of abuse uh, and in, with the bridge and the center block, etc. It just holds together really well, stays in tune really, really nicely. The other thing about it, of course, is that it is a smaller guitar. A lot of Gretsch's are very big, the full depth Falcons, uh, and some of the Chet Atkins, the country gents, are pretty big guitars. So if, if you're not a particularly large guitar player, uh, you want something that's a, a little bit more uh, easily usable, something you can jump around the stage with maybe, something like that, or if you're just fairly small like me, then this really is the perfect guitar for you. So all of the Gretsch tone uh, with the Bigsby, the Filtertrons, but without any of the feedback problems that we can sometimes encounter due to the centre block. Um, so I guess now we better just plug this in, uh, give it a little bit of a play and see how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Today, we've been looking at the Gretsch Pro Series guitar, which are Japanese-made, high-end, professional guitars. Look beautiful, sound fantastic, uh, with incredible finishes. But realistically, the Gretsch range really falls into four parts. So, starting from the bottom and introduced last year in 2016, we have the Streamliners. Um, so, these guitars have the visual looks of Gretsch, uh, pickups made specifically for that range, but those are our entry level in instruments. So if you're wanting to kind of dip your toe into the world of Gretsch, tone and uh, visually, that's absolutely perfect because that will give you an idea of what Gretsch is all about. So that's our most reasonably priced ones. Then above those, we have the Gretsch Electromatic series of guitars. Now these go from the Streamliners and kind of take it up another level. So on those, you'll find loads of features that you will actually find on the Pro Series guitars. So we have period correct uh, logos and knobs and big spears, and we even use Blacktop Filtertron pickups that you will actually find on some of the Pro Series guitars as well. So that's the second level of Gretsch. Then above that, you have all these amazing Pro Series guitars that we have been looking at today. Um, classic, iconic guitars from the past, more up-to-date versions of those, Nitro finishes, TV Jones pickups, etc. These are the guitars for the Pro gigging guitarist uh, and hobbyist. Then right at the very top, we also actually do some American custom shop built Gretches, built by the master builder uh, Stephen Stern in the custom shop in Corona. Uh, these are one-off, hand-built, master-built examples of the classic Gretsch guitars. So I hope that helps you. When you look at Gretsch, you look at the Gear for Music website, you will see the Streamliner range, which is the entry-level uh, range of guitars. You will then see the Electromatics, which are the mid-range, the Pro Series, which is the fully professional uh, Japanese-built guitars, uh, and then there are also a very tiny amount of hand-built custom shop USA Gretches as well. So, thanks for watching this brief overview of the Gretsch Professional Series of Guitars. Each and every one of these guitars is really different and unique in its own way. No two are alike, so there's plenty to explore for you to find the right one for you. As always, you can visit the Gear for Music website should you require more information. So, my name is Damon Chivers. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.